What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineer Survival on the lovely planet of Pertam. This is episode number 7 and in this episode we're going to be continuing off from what we started last episode. Last episode we did some crazy things, uh, not necessarily crazy, but, uh, but big things I would say. Like uh, completing the uh, shell of this hangar and also starting on that beautiful rover that you see down there, which is much larger than the initial rover that you can kind of see over there. Um, so this episode, hopefully we're going to be completing this rover right here, or hopefully, I mean, we are. Or at least we're going to have something up and running that we can drive around and test out. Um, uh, so yeah, this episode is going to be kind of like uh, like very busy. We're going to start with the... Well, we're, I don't know which one we're going to start with actually. Uh, but we're going to do the rover. We're going to uh, we're going to weld up all of this. The entire hangar I want to get welded today. So that we don't have to worry about it anymore. Including getting a, getting a nice roof on it as well. Um, we're going to... Uh, we're going to start on some of the refining and assembling stuff. As far as that goes, I, I don't necessarily like having just one refinery and uh, one assembler. I would rather have more like two or three refineries with maybe six assemblers. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna designate kind of a room for that, or, or we're gonna find out where we're gonna put it. Currently, I have no idea where that's gonna be, but uh, but we'll decide eventually. And then finally, I want to go and fix this right here. Uh, I don't really like this, and I've I've said since episode one that we were going to eventually remove this this uh, this kind of leg that reaches out to the power area i want to put that underground and since we have this hangar that goes underground it would be perfect to add like an access hatch right here so we're going to do that in this episode as well finally i did add a couple of mods to the game that you guys have been suggesting uh the first one is the abandoned settlements mod which i was saying when we were doing the exploration for ice that it would be nice if there were abandoned settlements well this one adds abandoned settlements so somewhere out there are abandoned settlements um, and for that to work, of course, I added Rival AI and the Modular Encounter Spawner. Now, I plan to add, like, a proper PvE mod, but again, that's not going to be until at, at the earliest next episode, but more likely the episode after that, where we'll add uh, where we'll add that. Because currently, we don't have any guns set up. We don't have any... I don't even know if we have magnesium. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's let's start on that, that giant schedule of work we have. First, let's start by completing this top of the hangar. Now, I asked you guys what you thought of this, and uh, and there weren't very many responses to that, but I think... I think it looks pretty good. Um, as far as the underbelly one, uh, I, I know at least one person said it looked ugly. The little uh, kind of arch idea that we had. So, and I kind of I kind of think the same way. So we're not going to do the uh, underbelly one, but we are going to do this design for the top. And once we weld it in, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, so starting out with that, let's go and get more steel plates. We have to start with a couple. I only have 26 uh, steel plates. We have 196 in there. That was in the contain. Uh, the uh, yeah, the container. Or the connector, rather. That must have been in, in the ship. Uh, now, I need to make a bunch of steel plates. Let's go ahead and make 5,000. Um, although, as I'm making like crazy, let me just make sure we have enough iron. Hang on. Uh, I thought we did a nice trip last episode. Yeah, we did. So we have enough iron, and if we need more, we'll go and get more because we have a, a nice iron base set up over there. Um, okay, so with all these steel plates, let's let's build in this, this, uh, this design we had going. So uh, let me make sure I have the same color. Okay. Using Control P. Or shift P, I think. Yeah. Uh, so we build in like this for uh, for this one part, and then we'll use the half blocks to continue the uh, the roof. So turn that around, and there we go. Uh, then a half block right here on this roof should look pretty good. I don't know how much protection it'll provide against lightning, but from what I hear, and I've only been struck by lightning once. Actually, when I was playing with some friends in a different server, uh, I did get struck by lightning again, uh, much to my surprise. But um, I think, from what you guys have told me, it creates a little explosion around where it strikes. So it doesn't matter how much armor we have here, it's going to stop there, make the explosion there, and damage any blocks that are nearby. And since our hangar is so big, or so tall rather, it should not damage any of the stuff below it. If I have lightning uh, thought about correctly. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it goes through these blocks and completely destroys the uh, the ships. And there we go, our hangar is now fully shelled out. Actually, wait, I did want to add something right here as well. Maybe I'll wait until everything is built up. So let's go ahead and weld this. I'm going to put the spectator camera on again because uh, welding is going to take a very long time. So, spectator in three, two, one, spectate!
Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we have run out of steel plate, or we have run out of iron, rather. Uh, we got most of the way done. It's kind of, you know, we didn't finish this line, unfortunately, and we still have a bunch of roof to do. But most of the floor is done, and all these... Oh, I forgot one of these stilts over here. Whoops. Um, and the walls. Yeah, but most of it's done, I'd say. Ow. Your health is low. That hurt. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the joys of using those half blocks is we used a, a far fewer steel plates than we would have had to had the whole thing been made out of uh, out of out of these large blocks right here so that was a definitely a good decision let me go and heal up and we'll go on a little iron expedition to go and get some stuff actually we could try and drive our new rover it's got a lot more storage space the uh, downside being that it uh, probably won't connect to the base actually on second thought let's let's not drive the new rover until it's complete because I don't want to flip it or anything um, and its wheels aren't set up or anything. Okay, let's just drive this rover for this mission. We'll get a little bit of iron, come back to the base, and uh, and then we'll finish up the the uh, the structure. All right. Uh, oh, you guys, you guys keep yelling at me for pressing P. So you know what? Instead, we're gonna go and press switch lock number seven. Oops, forgot to uh, turn on the uh, recharge. We're lucky that was not a um, flying ship. Otherwise, it would have gone straight to the ground. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think the the uh, wheels are locked. Wheels all G. Is there a lock for these wheels? Uh, show HUD, toggle block, increase safety, detach, etc., etc. Brakes? I think that's probably what it is. Okay, six. Okay, yeah. Now we can drive. Awesome. All right, let's get out there. Okay, what did we just run into? I don't know. Let me, let me uh, park real quick. And check that out. I think we just destroyed some some of these blocks here. No, we didn't. Yeah, all these blocks are fine. What the heck? We didn't destroy any of our wheel, did? We? Um, excuse me, guy. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> why did it not? Why did it not park? Oh, cause I turned off the brakes. That's why. I, I can't use P anymore. I have to straight up press the brakes every time. Okay. So we gotta be careful then. We almost we almost learned the hard hard way, uh uh why I don't know. I, I don't know what we almost learned the hard way. <laughs> Not to let our rover go, I guess. Uh okay. Connection number seven. Wait, okay, it must not be brakes. Hang on. G bring down the group. What other options do I have? Okay, I don't see the specific thing that is for, like, lock your wheels, but I do not think that brakes is it. I think brakes should always be on. I should just never press P to engage it unless I want to actually lock my wheels. I think that's probably the, the solution. Um, okay, so let's let that chill there. How much do we have in here, actually? Because I know we had some. Uh, we have stone. No, maybe we took it all. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and, and, uh, and mine some, some stuff. Inventory full. Did you guys know you can change that voice line? Well, all the voice lines that, they, that, that the character says. You can change that. It's really easy to do. And I tried to do it at one point with my voice as the uh, as the voice. Um, oh man, that was fun. Uh, maybe I'll include some of the voice lines that I attempted to, <laughs> to put on there. Fuel is low. Low fuel. Low fuel. You, my friend, need more fuel. Running out of fuel. You're using too much fuel, Sia. Your fuel is low, bro, so you better go get some mo. I don't know, it was just 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 random fun. I was having trying to trying to learn how to do a, a mod. The fun th the fun thing about it as well is that like where she always says the same thing every time if your inventory is full, she says inventory is full every single time. It's the same pitch, same everything. But you can actually set it so that in the files you can do this really easily. Um, you they can say like multiple options, like it'll pick a random one of certain voice lines. So you could have like 20 different voice lines for someone saying that your fuel is low or your inventory is full and it would choose a random one every single time. So that'd be, you know, I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting. I mean, you just jump that into there. That's not even a full container. Holy crap. We'll just take the stone then too. Why not? All right. Uh, press not P, but seven and we should be good to go. So I just need to learn not to press P ever. Oh, uh, that is, that needs some, that needs some, oh, that's why we crashed into that thing. Oh my god, I, I didn't even, I didn't even check this. 
But our our, uh, our strength offset is zero. Bump that up to 20, maybe. I didn't even check that after we after we left the base. I forgot that we had it. Man, you guys were probably yelling at me through the screen. Um, I forgot that we had it set because we we needed to connect to that connector. That that would definitely be why we crashed into that thing. And did we damage anything? No, we didn't. We didn't uh, damage anything. Oh, I'm going too fast. Okay, it's fine. We'll make the jump. It's cool. I <laughs> just wasn't paying attention there. Um, all right, let's back into this and and we'll do the same thing. We'll lower our suspension. Although someone someone told me in the comments that half blocks exist, so you know that's that's a good bit of information that we could certainly use to make it so we don't have to do this. So let's bump this back down to zero, and we should be able to connect with number seven. Hit the recharge, and we are good. That is now going into our our refinery, and we can continue work on this. Okay, back to the time lapse. Let's go. All right, here we are. The hangar is complete, kind of. We still need lights, and I have not welded in those those crossbars up there, which I don't know if I'm gonna leave welded or unwelded or if I'm going to weld them. Uh, I do kind of want to put a catwalk in up top just because it would look really cool. Uh, and it would kind of be kind of, um, well, it makes sense for a catwalk to be up there uh, for some reason. I don't know, it, I think it'd be cool. But, uh, but anyways, we have to do the lights, so I think I'm gonna go back to the time-lapse and we'll do the lights in time-lapse mode because again, lights take a little while. Uh, let's put those lights in. All right, now this is not bad. What I've done is I've put the lights up there and I've, I've grouped them and then I put I gave them an offset. So that's, that's mainly why the light is spreading all the way to the floor is they have an offset. So the light is really coming from a point that, so instead of here, it's like down here somewhere. Um, so it's kind of a little trick, but uh, but yeah, let me see what it looks like from outside. That's not bad. I don't really like how we're getting light right here. But if I wanted to just make that look more realistic, I could add like a little vent right here. So it would make sense that the light would be coming up right there. That's because I have the radius so high, by the way, that it's doing that. So I could always lower the, ra the radius. But honestly, I think I'm fine with it like this. Uh, we have enough light in here. We could we could, uh, we could use our flashlight or not. We don't have to. So that's, that's, that's really the, the whole point. Um, okay. I think that's a hanger. I think we call that a hanger. I mean, it would be nice to add some walls here, maybe. So maybe we'll have like a future expansion of the hanger where we add walls to this side. Uh, maybe we, we do something out here so that there's a wall on this side as well, or at least like an embankment or something. And then of course the catwalk uh, would be a cool idea. And then of course I'd probably want to add some lights to each individual bay as well. And then of course as well, maybe a little elevator for, for, for stuff like this. Uh, so this can go up and down. Um, if it would need to to connect to one of those so maybe for like a future rover but honestly I think this is a hangar I think it's I think it's fine I think it's perfect for our, our uses let's move on to the next thing oh of course actually you know we wanted to add a side as well to the hangar I turn off my light so I could see what it looks like from out here but uh, but we wanted to add a side as well so that's also an expansion we'd have to add to the hangar um, honestly just like a block right there would would uh, would do some to look good so like a little bit of a higher wall I'll go ahead and add those and we might weld those a little bit later but for now, I want to move on to something else. I've, I've, I've had enough of the hangar. By the way, uh, a lot of you guys said the time lapses are fine and you like time lapses. But I did get a lot of comments as well saying that you guys like when I tell you how long it took. Just so you get an idea of, of, uh, of how long it would take you. So for this whole process, the, the, uh, the hangar construction, the light addition, and uh, I'll also include the mining we did. Um, it's, we're, we've been recording for an hour and seven minutes. So that's how long this took to, uh, to weld in, to get the materials for, of course, and also to put in the lights. So there you go. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to something super easy that's gonna take like no time at all. We're going to remove this little bit right here, this little strip, and instead we're gonna opt for an underground route that's going to come in right here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's gonna be super easy. We're just gonna mine and we'll replace what is up top with that. This will remove some of the eyesore. And in fact, I also wanna, wanna fix up our power as well. Just while we're over here, 
Um, because initially, when we started the series, I thought that those little uh, those little power things needed to be five blocks up and eight blocks apart, when in fact they need to be eight blocks up and five blocks apart. All right, and connection. We have connection. Awesome. I'll build like a little thing right here to cover the cover the block, which we'll eventually do something with, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, okay, so now we can remove this. All this ugly stuff right here that we had from the from the beginning of the series, we don't need it anymore. We can see the nice geography. This is basically the same thing as hiding your wires underground, like cities do. They hide their their power lines underground so you don't uh, so you don't see them. All right. Uh, now we can definitely wait. Hang on, that wouldn't tell us. Let me go check to see if the battery has an input, and that will uh, that will tell us if, if we're still working. Uh, the battery does indeed have an input, so we're good. All right. So I also said I wanted to fix power as well. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's tear down what we currently have, which is all three of these, and we will uh, we'll we'll set up a well. We're gonna need more power too, so we'll set up a bigger power structure that uh, that can withstand. Well, that'll have more turbines, but also be more, um, it'll be eight blocks up instead of just five. So, let's remove these. We're going to run out of space. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to place a random, a random two turbines right here temporarily, just so that the materials are here. And you know what? They'll generate power while they're at it as well. Not that much, granted, but... But uh, just so the materials are right there when we need them. I don't need to do, the, do it for the other one as well. Okay, so for the power, what we're going to do is we're going to design a more permanent looking structure than what we had before. Uh, from this little pedestal that I've made. So, uh, it's going to be something like this. Imagine this. And then another one over here. With these uh, these little quarter blocks, or whatever they're, whatever they're called, uh, around on all sides. And it's going to go about eight blocks, and then it's going to be able to support... I think probably four wind turbines, and then if we need four more wind turbines, we'll just build a second one of these over in a different direction or something. So it's gonna be like a just a little a, a big pillar that looks more permanent than the little thing we had. Uh, so let's get to work. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, uh, and that's about as tall as we need it because eight blocks off the ground generates the maximum efficiency. Uh, so eight blocks for each of these sides. Honestly, though, they weren't performing that badly, so I, I don't know. Maybe it's because we get storms very often. And speaking of which, I haven't seen a storm in a long time. Where have our storms gone? They've they've uh, they've run away because now we have a hangar to protect ourselves. Uh, let's build these little things in here. Now we have run out of steel plates again or uh, iron again, so we will have to go on another iron expedition if we want to like fill this in right now. Um, but I mean, we don't we don't necessarily need a lot of iron at the moment. We still have a bunch of iron plates, or steel plates rather, inside the uh, inside the containers. So it's not like we're we're low on steel plates. We just don't have any more iron with which to make steel plates, if we need more. Uh, okay, so that's our structure that's eight tall. Uh, now we need to add the wind turbines five blocks away from each other. So let's do something like the. Well, how do we want to do this? Hang on. I don't know. Let's let's build a half block out. But then we need something with which to place the wind turbines. So hang on. Oops. Let's get that back. All right, so here, here's an interesting question. So when it comes to the wind turbines, they so they're they're placed on one block, but they take up three. So when people say they need so it's like one, two, three, and they have a radius of three by three. Uh, but the question, or not a radius, but a, a they have a area of three by three. The uh, the question is when they when people say they need to be five blocks apart, does that include the three by three? So is it five blocks from this centerpiece, or is it five blocks from this outer piece? I really don't know. Let's uh, let's pretend it's the centerpiece, just because it'll make our job easier. Uh, so we need to do something like this. Maybe so yeah, maybe something like that, and then this. I don't know. How's that look? Maybe one of those on each side. Let's see how that looks. All right, yeah, something like that. That'd be able to support. That'd be able to voice crack. That'd be able to support four different things. One, two, three, four. Oh wait, is this a storm? Yes, it is! Right as I said that we were, we were missing storms. Here comes a storm. Um, okay, so these are each five blocks across. So, one would think that maybe they would... Uh, they would be fine. So, if... Here's the thing. If it's only five blocks apart from that one center... Uh-oh. 
Lightning storm. I'm scared. If it's only five blocks apart from that one center point, oh, I'm so scared. Um, then it it would be fine if we placed it right there. But if it's five blocks apart from the the uh, the outside area, we'd need to place another one like that. For now, let's place it like this. And if you guys tell me otherwise that I should place it on the outside, then I will do that. So one, two, three, and four. Let's go and get our blocks. I know we have enough for at least one of these. Minus three interior plates. Let's go and get the other two. Oh, they're going. Look, they're spinning. They're spinning as fast as they can. Let's bring them back. Ah, I didn't get all of it. Let's bring them back. And uh, once we build this up... Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, this other one. Who needs that other one? Who, who cares about that one? Uh, I'm really high in a lightning storm, and I don't like it. I'm really high up in a lightning storm. Let's uh, let's run away. Let's retreat into <laughs> into the safety of our little of our little place. Oh man, I don't think we got struck by lightning there. I think we'd be dead if we did. Um, instead, that little thing got struck by lightning. Oh man, it's uh, it's safe to say that I really should not be out in a storm during a during a, a lightning storm. Okay, you know what? Our power is fine. We'll work on that a little bit later. Uh, since we're in here and kind of hunkered down because of the storm. Is it going away? Wait, hang on. Is the storm disappearing? No, we still have an electric storm. Wait, if I go outside? Okay, no, I, I heard thunder. I definitely should not go outside. Okay, so what we're going to do while we're hunkered down in here is let's let's finish up this rover and do a little bit of work on it. Now, uh, some, some of you are pointing out that my center of mass is not amazing for this. Let's show it again. Uh, so our center of mass is all the way back here, when in reality it should probably be closer to the center. So what we're gonna do, in, or what we're gonna do to fix that? Some of you were suggesting that I might move the batteries, but honestly, I kind of like the positioning of those. So I think we're just gonna add more batteries. We're just gonna have four batteries on this thing, um, and we'll place them right here. So it'll take three blocks, but we'll place one right there. So just a battery. Here, this is what it will look like. Single battery right there. Uh, actually, nay. I take it back. Let's replace that block and fill it in. What I'm going to do instead is place two batteries on the outside like this. And this is going to be kind of reminiscent of how Teslas are. Uh, because Teslas have batteries that are very low to the ground. We don't need this for now. Um, if you've ever seen a Tesla... Uh, they're pretty much on the top. There's like no components, but on the bottom is where the batteries sit. So you have uh, you have this massive battery that goes on the on the whole bottom of the thing. And the reason it goes all the way down there is because the center of mass being low means that it's very unlikely to flip, which is why Teslas usually have very good safety ratings as well. Yeah. So stick the battery right there. I think that's pretty fine. So we have two safe batteries back there, and then two eh, slightly less safe batteries. Let's put some blocks in here. Now, one other thing a couple of you guys were talking about as well was that our ship doesn't have the ability to bring large materials in through here and connect to the large car container. What I might do to combat that, since I don't really want to replace everything that we've done here, I might put something like that in. So if we ever want to add large things, we could just add them straight through in there. Um, so maybe we add something like that. Actually, I'll just keep it there for now, uh, just so we have the idea fresh in our mind. Um, okay, I guess let's... Fill in these batteries. Let's get some battery materials. Actually, you know what? Here's the thing. If I want to move the center of mass a little bit further, what I should really do is have put the batteries right here. Closer to the front of the ship. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh let's let's put those batteries a little closer to the front. Now I have to tear down the batteries and I'm gonna I'm gonna lose 20 power cells for doing this. But that's a cost I'm willing to accept. Furthermore, an interesting idea, I'm actually going to put heavy blocks on the bottom as well, just in this little area, because it's a little bit weaker because we have the batteries there instead of normal blocks. So I'd rather have heavy blocks uh, connecting this. Um, and then the, the added effect that would have is it would also move the center of mass a little bit closer to the front as well. Uh, so heavy blocks there, and uh, well, let's let's build those up real quick. Uh, and then we'll put a couple more a couple more heavy blocks in as well. All right, by using those heavy blocks and also the uh, the batteries all the way close to the front there, we've moved our center of mass somewhere from over here to much closer to the actual center. Um, now, of course, when we add weight to this thing, the center of mass is going to shift as well. So adding weight to these will shift the center of mass backwards. 
But adding adding weight to this will probably shift it forward as well. And since this is the large one that's very central to the vehicle, we should be good. <clears throat> uh, everything is looking pretty good now. Uh, I don't know if I want to stick anything down here. Because honestly, we kind of went crazy with the components in the back right here. Okay, are there any other components that we would want? I said earlier that a gun would be nice. So do we want to add a gun? If we do, it's a 5x5 five five thing, so we have plenty of space. We could add it up here, closer to the top. So we could have our seat down here, maybe. Where we, we drive down here, but then the gun would be up here. That we would place. Let's fill this in. I don't necessarily want to put anything in there for now. And then let's go and get some metal grids as well so we can fill in this line. Which are heavy blocks. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, you guys ever build something and have no idea how to finish it? <laughs> That's pretty much where I am right now. I, I I built this. I think it's really cool back here. I have no idea how to make the cockpit. How to, how to make the front side. Um, do I raise it up one? Probably. I don't know if I want to necessarily drive at ground level. So I guess if I raise it up one, I should probably build a block on here. All right, here, here's, here's what we're doing. I have no idea how to complete this ship, and so I have elected to just add some more components to it to make it simpler for me. And by add more components, I mean add more <laughs> add more of these gigantic containers. These ones all, over here are all connected. They're medium containers. So now this thing will have, instead of four, it will have seven medium containers and a large. Uh, this will also bring forward the center of gravity a little bit. So with all of these full, you would imagine the center of gravity would be just about right here. Uh, because the large one, and the three, and then the four, be kind of over here-ish. Uh, and then we'll add the cockpit right there. I, I had no idea what to do with all this space, so I figured this is the easiest solution. Well, I could use, honestly, I could use this cockpit piece and it wouldn't look that bad. But a lot of you guys wanted me to do a, do a custom cockpit as well. So, because they added the, um, where's the block I want? I don't know where the block I want is. Uh, seat. Because they added the ability to place windows on ships like this, we can make our own custom cockpits um, with the control seat and... That was another one. Oh no, it just looks different on the large ship. Okay. Yeah, we can make our own custom cockpits. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a side cockpit like this. Something like that. We'll put the seat on the side right there and we'll have a way to get up onto this right here. And this would allow access to the roof as well as the uh, the seat up here. So we're going to window this in. Let's let's build that first and then we'll, we'll continue. Alright, so there's our seat. Okay, we can certainly drive it from there. Let me place these blocks in just to finish this up. And I won't place any right here. I will place one right here though. I think we're going to have like a little ladder or some for, some way to get up onto this ship from the front. Alright, something like that for the side. And then we'll, that's where we'll start our, uh, our our glass thing. So I don't, I've never really done this before. Made like a an interior thing. But uh, let's add some windows to our thing. Uh, I don't know which ones... I guess they all go on small grids now, don't they? 1x1 one one flat, 2x3 flat, 1x1 one one face. Fuel this one and that one. We're out of fuel. Yeah, like a little a little thing like that. Like that's the dashboard down there, and then you got your your windshield. Boom! There we go. Nice little cockpit. Then uh, raise this up a little bit as well. Uh, we need bulletproof glass, which I think is only silicon, right? Production. Yes, only silicon. So I can make like a thousand because I think we have plenty. Of, do we have plenty of silicon? Silicoin. <laughs> uh, okay, we have some silicon. We don't have plenty, I would say. Okay, so add in the windows. Kablam, 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 kablooey. Kablooey blam, bloom, blom, blam. Okay, there's our windows. So now if you're in here, you see like, you see all. You can see everything. You're like, oh, I'm sitting here, but I can see. Look, if I look to the left, I can see. If I look to the right, well, we haven't done that part yet. But you can see all, and if we look up, you'll be able to see too, because we're gonna we're gonna add a sunroof, and it's gonna be amazing. Um, okay, but in order to add a sunroof, we need to fix this. Let's add in this block, and then uh, once more for this block. Up there we go. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow it to mold from the outside, so it looks like zoop, goes up like that. Looks very nice. Although I'm not sure about that 
right there for aerodynamics sake, but it's fine. Okay, what do you guys think of it? It's, you know, it's not bad. It comes up on the side like that. I could, if I wanted to make it look better, potentially just go straight up and then over. I don't know. What does it look like from here? Pretty much I can see everything I want to see. There be another storm starting, and methinks it's a sandstorm. But methinks it shouldn't cause too many problems. Not, not with lightning and whatnot. Running rampant. Ah, wheels! <laughs> Wheel suspensions. Please uh, increase your strength just a wee bit to a nice steady 16. There we go. Much better. Okay, the rotor is more or less finished. Um, where's our center of gravity now? Uh, no, no, that's that center of gravity. Yeah, that's our center of gravity right there, which is pretty much in the middle. And in, I think if we add things, it'll be in the middle too. But anyways, uh, more is probably going to be done on it next episode. I, I, I'll, I want, again, you guys' input for this because, honestly, I uh, I just kind of started doing stuff and seeing if it would work. Um, and I, I think some of it works and I think some of it maybe doesn't work. And I want you guys to... Uh, to, to let me know what, what you think works and what doesn't work as well. But um, but here's what we got. So the uh, the way to get on it is this um, ladder right here. You hop on the ladder and you climb up and you pretty much get to the top of the ship. Um, down here you can see the cockpit. With the cockpit you have a view of everything left, everything up, everything straight. And you have a limited view of everything to the right. Um, yeah, so, so that's that. Uh, from here you can walk over here, you can grab your, your stuff if you need it. You know, you can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think, honestly, I think we're probably going to add stuff like this. Actually, I will go ahead and add that right now. Stuff like that to either side so that that is less exposed. Um, and it'll look more like a truck, I guess. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like from the side. Is, is like a giant truck. And I'll show you in a second once I, once I finish welding this. There's a lot of space on this ship to add more, like, small things like antennas and stuff. Like, see, down there, there's a lot of space you can throw stuff and, and stuff like that. I think the cockpit looks pretty nice. Um, I don't know about this side right here. I, I really don't. I, I mean, I think maybe we, like, raise it up and then go over. Maybe that would look make it look better. I don't know. It's fine. And, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. Or we could, like, cap it on the roof right there and, and just make it a straight roof instead of raising it up one. But, of course, raising it up one allows you to... Well, I guess if we could get down there, you could walk there. I don't know. But yeah, from the side, it kind of looks a lot like a, just a big truck. Uh, from this side, it looks like, well, I don't know, a, a little robotic truck thing. But from this side over here, it looks more like a, a drivable thing. So this is this is that. Let's, well, I need to actually, let me, let me fix some stuff up with the wheels and stuff, and then we'll give it a little test drive. Okay, I think everything is set. Oh, let me real quick actually turn off the info. Uh, large rover, I'm going to call this truck... Uh, just because it seems like a truck sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's not fully complete, but it's mostly complete. Uh, I, I do still need to add some blocks on the back there, I think, to make it uh, to make it look better. And then probably I need to add some lights so it travels at nighttime as well. But let's uh, let's start going. Um, we're in first person here, but I want to real quick check. Okay, we did make it. We did clear that pretty easily. Uh, all right, let's 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 get it going. We'll go down to the iron base. We actually do need iron, so this is a pretty good uh, little trip for us. As far as batteries, oh my god, look how much battery we're using. Two battery when we're propulsing. Alright, let's come around the side. And I, I highly doubt we can connect to that little little connector. I'm not even going to try. Because our connector on this ship is much higher than the other one. But what we can do is we can just park right here. Hop out. A little, little, little jump. Check it out. Check it out. That is nice. And we can connect to all these, which I still have to name. They're still called medium car containers. But uh, but we can connect to all these. And let me put this into perspective. The small rover that we had could hold one of these small containers. This one can hold seven of those small containers in addition to one large container, which which stores like, I don't know, ten times as much as the, small, uh, the medium ones. Well, let's go get some iron. We need to put our materials back, though. Our, our stuff we have in our inventory. There we go. Let's go get some iron. Some of that good old iron. Alright, I think this last load right here is probably enough iron to go around. Probably the same amount we had last time, if I had to guess. So we've been mining around the, the same time. Except, this time I'll have to manually bring it over. Ugh. But luckily, build, build planner helps me. Because 
It makes it quicker. Just loaded it. Yeah, it's, it's almost the same amount. I mean, we had 75 last time. This time we have 65, so it's pretty good. It's a lot of iron. We, we just used an, a tremendous amount of iron building the hangar. So, you know, 65,000 iron is nothing to scoff at for sure. All right, last bit of iron. Bam, there it goes. Do we even have one full cargo container? No, <laughs> we do not. Uh, we do have one full connector, though. So there's that. Uh, all right, let's... One, one thing... Oh, I forgot I have to go up here. I'll probably use my jetpack most of the time, but, you know, it's, it's a nice novelty. Don't turn my jetpack on without my say-so, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ladder. Uh, let's do a round... A round. Let's do a... Let, let's go around the base. I want to do more driving of this thing. Uh, maybe maybe a little, a little bit more difficult terrain to see how it fares. We'll come around to the south entrance of the base. I'm hearing some uh, some clicks, some some click clacks. Just checking on the suspension. They look fine. Okay. I guess we're good. Can't really see the base up there. But I believe we have to turn around right here and we should be we should be coming up. There we go. We can see the little little flower thing I built for the uh, for the windmills. Gosh, I don't know if this thing will be able to make it into the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, the, the crevice, the large one. Alright, here's our, here's our hangar. Uh, if we remember correctly, we cannot actually go in there, because we haven't set that up yet. I don't even know if we can go under this, because I built this with the small- no, oh yeah, we easily can. I built it with the small thing in mind. But let's come around the front, and let's park. Alright. Home sweet home. I just have to remember that I'm not at the center of the thing. Now backing up will be a pain in the butt. Let's try doing it in first person and see how badly this goes. Okay, let's let's get a little bit of room. Okay. Oh, this is not gonna go well at all. I'm, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut my losses here and go forward and then just back in from there. Wait, hang on. Yeah, no, it is here. Okay, let's start backing up. Alright, we look like we're in line, I think. Let's see how we are compared to that. Yep. Okay, we should now be almost connected. Ready to connect. There we are! Wow, that was almost perfect. In fact, one, you know what I might do? I might draw a line. Uh, like wheel lines. So that we know where to go. Here, let's get a, let's get a yellow color. Uh, something like this. You know, like an airplane has, so it knows where to where to park. I don't know. Yay? Nay? I think it looks good on factories. I, I don't know if it'll look good in a hangar. We'll keep it for now. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do, and we're kind of running out of time here, um, I wanted to designate a spot for the refinery and the assemblers. So we're not going to actually build that this episode. We're just going to kind of figure out where we want it, I guess. Uh, and I have two options. Well, I, I have infinite options, I guess, but I could put it up against the hangar. I mean, that wouldn't be that bad. I don't want to dig, really. But, let me think real quick. How do I want the entrance to the hangar to look? Let's, you know what? Let's do this. Let's make this the entrance. I don't have steel plates. Uno momento. Okay, here's what I think we're going to do. So, we already designated this as a port. Like, a place for a thing, a thing to park. And we already designated this as a port. I think what we'll do is we will designate this as the entrance and not put any car here. What this will instead be is a stairwell down to the level. So, entrance, kabam, like that. Like you, you'd, you'd walk through here. So, actually, you know what we're doing right now? We're designing the base. We're designing how the base is gonna look. Because, quite honestly, this is only a starter base. Oh, hey, there's cameraman. How's it going, cameraman? That's our, uh, that's our spectator cam right there, in the flesh. <laughs> Um, okay, let's, uh, yeah, so this is how our base is going to look, and then we'll have a room off to the side here where we will stick our, that stuff. So I think, honestly, all this stuff over there is probably going to go, it's probably going to get moved to what will be our permanent base, which is what we're building now. So, if we're designated a spot for the refinery, I think it would be a pretty good idea to designate this spot. And then come down one. Yep. Something like that. 
And then at this level, we would have where the refineries would be. That right there is going to be a staircase. So we'll have this go up like that, and a little staircase that goes down. Um, and then refineries. Maybe with a two-block walking distance, refineries right here. Can I go down a level with the refineries, though? Let me try. I must at least try. Okay. Something like that. Oops. Boom, boom, refineries. I don't want to do too much mining for this, but refineries are so tall that having them low is kind of a good idea. So we'll have... Let me get some interior plates and I'll put those, uh, I'll put those staircases in. Okay, so staircase right there. Staircase right there. Refineries on each side. So refineries take up two slot. Uh, so I'll put a refinery there. We'll have two refineries on each side. Well, four refineries in total, because our, our efficiency is not at the max like I usually play at. So that, that those will be refineries right there. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And we'll have another one back here. Four, we need more steel plates. Uh, that little slot back there will be for the upgrades, because refineries have four upgrade slots on the bottom. So we're going to put them like that. Now, uh, actually, I didn't explain this fully real quick. Refineries that we're going to put up are going to be put up vertically. So I can actually put them up now because I have steel plates on me. So uh, it'll be placed like this. Uh, is that the right way? That's the right way, right there. Whoops. That's exactly the wrong spot. All right, right there and right there. So they do connect via the connector thing, which is right there on the side. There's one on each side right there when you place it vertically. And then if you can see, if I look up, yeah, you can kind of see it's got all those little, little like cow udders, I guess. They're, they're, all those little connections on the back, that's where we would put the uh, the upgrade modules. So they would connect this way, and then that's our way to get back to where the upgrade modules are, so we can, we can uh, build them and maintain them if we need to, if need be. So there we go, that's our little refining setup, and then... What we'll probably do is we'll probably have an ore. Uh, we'll probably have a container for ores over here somewhere. And then over here we'll have a container for ingots, which will then feed into where we're going to put the assemblers, which would be over here. So, I think I think we've done a good job of designating where we want this to go. These would go out this way, so you can walk in front of it. And these would go out this way as well, so you can walk in front of it. And then we'd have one down there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Check it out. That's our refining. That's our stuff. Okay, that's going to be the end of this episode since it's getting really, really long. I've been recording for two hours and 45 minutes almost. Uh, most of that was, of course, building this right here, but another significant portion was trying to figure out how to build the rover because uh, because I get a sort of, a sort of writer's block uh, that you probably have all gotten before when trying to build something like this. It's like... Okay, I've built this up, but now how do I build this? Okay, does that look good? Etc, etc. But, anyways, um, that's the end of this episode. Let me know what you guys think of everything we've done. The hangar, the, the, the rover. Let me know what you guys think about uh, what, what else we should add to the rover, or how else we should build this. Uh, put those down in the comments section below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you disliked it, feel free to hit the dislike button. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers!